everyone, it's Chiyu here from iHeartMommy.com. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a paleo dairy free Vietnamese iced coffee. I'm gonna show you how to make this through this traditional little machine, uh, coffee filter, Vietnamese coffee filter that you can get on Amazon. I'm also gonna show you how to use a French press. So either way, in the end of this video, you'll learn a traditional way of making Vietnamese iced coffee or um, an easier way to make them. But regardless which version you pick to choose, it's all gonna be paleo friendly and also dairy free. Let's get started. And the type of coffee I'm gonna use, uh, by the way, both of them you can get it on Amazon. If you're watching this on YouTube, check out the link in the description. If you are watching this on Instagram, swipe up to check out the blog post and then with all the links of where I found all these coffee beans. So this type is already ground and um, it has a chicory flavor. It's, you probably see that most often in a lot of Vietnamese restaurants. And this is a whole beans. Um, I love this one too. And this is, has a dark chocolate flavor. Uh, but either way, if you don't have them, it's completely fine. You can also use um, espresso beans uh, or any dark roast, medium ground coffee. Let's get started. Method one, we're gonna use Vietnamese coffee filter. So this is an eight ounce little tiny coffee filter. Usually when you um, go to a restaurant, it's about six to eight ounce uh, coffee filter. So you can see there are many layers to it. So the first thing we're gonna add, so if you like not like overly too strong coffee, I will just use one tablespoon. Um, you can also use two tablespoons so you will just have a very strong espresso and you can dilute with ice more later. Now we add the coffee and what you want to do is generally give a little shake so that you know the uh, really fine ground it will filter through so this way it won't drip into your coffee cups. The next thing we want to do is also put over this little tray. You can see this is perforated so the coffee can drip through and put over this top filter and then just turn about 90 to 180 degree just so make sure that the ground coffee inside is stay level. So we're gonna add two tablespoons nearly boiling hot water. So just let it, this will allow the coffee bean to expand and just wait for 20 to 30 seconds before we fill it with more water. After that, I'm gonna put in about two third cup of the same thing, nearly boiling water. And then close with the lid. And you see it starts dripping. And you see it starts dripping. Isn't that beautiful? And because this is double perforated, so it will force the coffee bean to go through the water a little bit slower. So this way you get more so now we're gonna add the hot coffee over ice to make iced coffee. This is the paleo dairy-free condensed milk. You can definitely swipe up to check out the recipe. It comes with the coffee together. Um, or otherwise you can add any dairy-free coffee creamer that you like. And put it over. Oh, it looks like. And then I'm gonna put the milk over it and just give a stir, you have Vietnamese iced coffee. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Definitely swipe off to get the recipe, guys. So say if you don't have Vietnamese coffee filter at home, you want to just use a French press, so I'm gonna show you how. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons of medium ground um, dark roast coffee, and I really prefer this brand because it tastes more authentic, and then, we're gonna add hot water. So same thing, nearly boiling hot water. It's about 200 Fahrenheit. So we're gonna add that in. And then just let it sit for about five minutes. Of course, I'm gonna put the press over. So I'm gonna put the press over and just wait for five minutes. I know it looks very little, but it will come up, give you about half cup of very strong coffee that's good for two servings to adults so thanks so much for watching i hope you found this little tiny tutorial helpful if you're watching this on youtube be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below i'd love to hear what you think and if you're watching on instagram thanks so much again i love you guys be sure to swipe up to get a recipe and find even more yummy and delicious paleo whole 30 and keto cuisine on my website 
Chat with you soon. Bye.